Hello everyone and welcome back to Fleming's Math. We are finishing the lesson on graphing from standard form to slope intercept form. Let's begin here with number 11. This is in standard form and we want to convert it into slope intercept form which is y equals mx plus b. We first will subtract 2x from both sides. These two x's will cancel on the left. That leaves us with negative 5y equals negative 2x plus 25. The next thing is to divide by negative 5 everywhere. The negative 5's will cancel and then that would leave us with y equals positive 2 fifths times x minus 5. And that's because the 25 divided by negative 5 is just negative 5. Alright, our y-intercept is negative 5 and that goes here on the y-axis. And our slope is 2 fifths. The 2 tells us to go up 2 blocks and then the 5 tells us to go to the right 5. So starting here, go up 2 blocks and then to the right 5. So our second point will go here. Let's go ahead and draw a line through those points. All right, number 12. 4x plus y equals negative 3, and we want to convert it into this slope-intercept form. Let's subtract 4x from both sides first. The 4x's cancel, so that leaves us with y equals negative 4x minus 3. Our y-intercept is negative 3. That would go here. And our slope is negative 4, which is actually negative 4 over 1. The negative 4 would tell us to go down 4 blocks, and then the 1 tells us to go to the right 1. So starting at negative 3, let's go down 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then to the right 1. So our next point would be actually here, just a little bit off the grid. If you want, you can go backwards to get an additional point over here. So we could go up 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then to the left 1, and that would bring us to this point. All right, let's go ahead and connect with a line. Here's number 13. Want to get it in the y equals mx plus b form. The first thing is to subtract 3x from both sides. Those 3x's cancel, and that's going to leave us with 4y equals negative 3x minus 12. We'll then need to divide by 4 everywhere. Those 4's would cancel, and now we have y equals negative 3 fourths times x minus 3. And of course, you know that we got the 3 because 12 divided by 4 is 3. All right, our y-intercept is negative 3. Let's put that here. Our slope is negative 3 fourths. The negative 3 tells us to go down 3, and then the 4 tells us to go to the right 4. So starting here, we're going to go down 3, 1, 2, 3, and then to the right 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. All right, let's go ahead and connect with a line. All right, here's number 14. Again, we want to make it into this form, y equals mx plus b. We'll need to subtract x from both sides. That leaves us with y equals negative x minus 5. and I'm going to say negative 1x minus 5. And our slope then would be negative 1 over 1. 
and our y-intercept is negative 5. So our first point goes here on the y-axis at negative 5. Negative 1 over 1 tells us to go down 1 and then to the right 1. So starting at negative 5, go down 1 and to the right 1. And you can continue to do that again, down 1 and to the right 1 for an additional point. And you can connect. All right, here's number 15. We have x plus y equals 2. Let's just subtract x from both sides. That leaves us with y equals negative x plus 2. Now that negative is actually negative 1x. And then let's go ahead and put a 1 underneath that. So our y-intercept is 2, and our slope is negative 1 over 1. Let's go to positive 2 on the y-axis for our first point. To get another point, we will go down 1 and then to the right 1. Down 1 and to the right 1 gives us another point. Down 1 and to the right 1 again gives us a third point, and we can draw the line. And here's number 15, number 16, sorry. We want to subtract 3x from both sides first. Those 3x's will cancel. And now we have 2y equals negative 3x minus 2. Let's divide by 2 everywhere. These twos will cancel each other. And that leaves us with y equals negative 3 over 2 times x minus 1. And we know 2, two divided by 2 is 1. That's where that came from. All right, our y-intercept is negative 1. So that would go here on the y-axis. We'll use our slope, which is negative 3 over 2. The negative 3 will tell us to go down 3 blocks, 1, 2, 3. And then the 2 tells us to go to the right 2, 1, 2. And here's our next point. Let's go ahead and connect those lines, or connect those points with a line. All right, here's number 17. Let's subtract 3x from both sides first. We have negative y equals negative 3x minus 4. Now we need to divide by negative 1 everywhere. those negatives will cancel each other. That's going to leave us with y equals, see, negative 3 divided by negative 1. That's going to be positive 3, so positive 3x. And then negative 4 divided by negative 1 is positive 4. So that's going to be y equals 3x plus 4. Our slope intercept, I'm sorry, our y intercept is 4. That would go here as our first point. The slope is 3, which is actually 3 over 1. The 3 would tell us to go up 3, and then the 1 tells us to go to the right 1. So starting here, count up 3. 1, 2, 3. So we're just off the grid. And then go over to the right 1. So we'd have another point around this spot. We can get another point that's actually on the grid by just going backwards. So start here at 4 and count down 3, 1, 2, 3, and then to the left 1. So we'd have another point here. So these three points, they appear to line up perfectly. So let's go ahead and draw the line.
And our last question is number 18. Let's go ahead and subtract x from both sides first. Those x's cancel. Now we have negative 4y equals negative x minus 4. That negative x is actually negative 1x. Let's go ahead and divide by negative 4 everywhere. Those negative 4's cancel. That's going to leave us with y equals, oh, and here there's, there's two negatives, so that's going to become positive 1 fourth x. And then these are two negatives, so that's going to be positive 4 divided by 4, which is 1. So that's y equals 1 fourth x plus 1. Our y-intercept is positive 1, which goes here on the y-axis. Our slope is 1 over 4. The 1 tells us to go up 1, and the 4 tells us to go to the right. So up 1 from here would be there. And then let's go to the right 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And our second point is here. Let's go ahead and connect with a straight line. All right, and that concludes our assignment for day two, which is graphing from standard form to slope-intercept form.